Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Odoo WooCommerce Connector by Emipro. In this video, I'll show you how to process and fulfill order as well as cancel or refund order and update its status from Odoo to WooCommerce. So in order to do that, first what I'll show you is I have a two sales order over here 216 and 217 and one quotation 218 so uh, all in all I have three orders in my Odoo and I'll take you to the WooCommerce store 216, 217 and 218 three orders here as well so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, change the order statuses of these orders process them fulfill them or cancel them uh, refund them and uh, see the changes take place from Odoo to WooCommerce so first we will go to sales order and uh, select UK216. What I'm going to do with this order is I'm going to process this order and fulfill this order. So the order status has to be changed to completed from Odoo to WooCommerce. So I'll go to delivery order and what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to uh, validate this order and fulfill this order. But before I do that, what I uh, need to ensure is this uh, that I'll go to additional info and uh, under picking type I have my company delivery orders and I'll click on edit now as you can see here the default source location is set to a WH stock but there is no default destination location so I need to set that I'll set it to partner locations customers so this makes sure that for this particular delivery order the source location will be stock and the destination location will be the customer address. I'll click on save and uh, I'll go back to the uh, order, delivery order here. And what I'm going to do is I'll validate this order and that should fulfill this order. Yes, the order is fulfilled, but the order is fulfilled in Odoo. Now, what can I do to change the uh, order status in WooCommerce from Odoo? It is very simple. Go to WooCommerce open the dashboard click on perform operation and go to ERP to Woo and check order update status so when I click on execute the order status of this particular order should be changed to completed in WooCommerce currently for order 216 as you can see the uh, order status is on hold so when I go here and I click on execute I'll go here and I'll refresh this page and as you can see the order status has changed to completed so this way you can update the order status of orders from Odoo to WooCommerce uh, we'll go back again to the orders page uh, we have two more orders after this I'm gonna show you how to cancel a particular order from Odoo to WooCommerce for that we will go to quotations and I have uh, quotation UK218 that is an order so I'll uh, go here and what I'll do is I'll click on confirm sale so this will uh, generate a sales order and I also have a delivery order over here I'll click on the delivery order now instead of validating this order I'm going to cancel this order and what I want to do is I want to cancel this order over here and then send the updated status back to WooCommerce so how do I do that first I will cancel this order here so I'll click on cancel and when I click on cancel the order is cancelled over here the delivery order is cancelled but it is not yet cancelled in WooCommerce so it shows me a button over here saying cancel in WooCommerce so when I click here it asks me if I want to auto create refund for this order so if I want to cancel a delivery order and also generate a refund along with it I can do it here but in this case I'm not going to do that so I'll uncheck this and click on cancel order so I just cancelled it now let us go to uh, WooCommerce and check if the order 218 has been cancelled or not yes the order status is changed to cancelled so this is done now we will see how we can refund an order from Odoo to WooCommerce I'll go back to Odoo we have one sales order over here the sales order is UK217 so I'll click on that particular order I'll uh, go to invoices and as you can see the invoice is already paid so I would like to refund this particular invoice and then get it back to WooCommerce 
so i'll click on refund invoice over here i have this button inside the invoice i'll click here and uh, the reason is uh, let's say improper size i'll uh, create a refund click on create refund so that just created a refund i'll uh, click here and i need to validate this particular refund first so i'll validate this refund and uh, after validating the refund i need to register the payment as well so the payment goes back to the customer i'll uh, select the payment journal as bank and uh, click on validate so now what i have done is i have successfully refunded this particular order in odoo but not in woocommerce i haven't set uh, the updated status in woocommerce so once i have uh, successfully refunded it in uh, odoo next what i need to do is i need to refund it in woocommerce and i can see a simple button here to do that so i'll click here refund in woocommerce and when i click that the button is gone that means the refund has been updated to woocommerce as well we'll go here and we will check for order 217 and as you can see it is refunded I, over here it shows the refund line as well the reason that we entered an odoo improper size that is also done successfully over here so in this way you can uh, update the order status to completed or cancelled or refunded from odoo to woocommerce thank you for watching this video i hope the video was helpful emi pro specializes in providing customization consultancy and support for any and all services related to odoo so feel free to contact us on www.emiprotechnologies.com